And let, let me also take a moment here to share something um, that I think is very helpful as a job seeker. If you look, if you look on my, if you're able to see my screen and if you're not, I'm going to talk you through it, but I'm a LinkedIn premium subscriber. And then what that means is that I've got additional um, uh, information that's available to me as I consider different employers. And so on the screen right now, I can actually see the hiring trends over the last two years for this university, uh, this fifth job that we just reviewed. And I can see that they, they actually have 2,327 total employee, employees. And I can actually see that their company-wide growth is down 5% and their IT hiring is actually down 2% and with a median tenure of 4.8 years. What this tells me is this is a stagnant organization that is slowly uh, decreasing in size and they have a pretty high tenure of people working there. And so that means if I join this organization, um, I can expect that I don't have to work in a maddening uh, scene where, uh, where the organization is growing like wildfire, this is going to be a fairly uh, staid sort of a, a of an experience, and I can expect that a lot of people around me have been there for a long time and know how to get things done. But it's not going to be a, a necessarily a very exciting experience. So, um, what do you see, Jason, when you look at this? Yeah, so you know, I'm also taking into context the fact that this is a college, um, and so I've worked for colleges before. You have to remember that when you have somebody there who is tenured, uh, for instance, the professors and all the teachers on staff, if they gotten tenure, they're going to likely stay there for a long time, like 20, 30, 40 years before they retire. And so that's going to drag up that median tenure age really high as well. Just mm -hmm. because you see that 4.8, that doesn't mean the people in the IT world are staying there for 4.8 years or even you know three years. They may be going over really quickly because they're getting burnt out with the lack of funding that's happening. Uh, also with colleges, you've seen over the last couple of years, there's been a cut to manpower and they've been yep. trying to save money. This happened you especially during COVID, right? And you see that right here where the company-wide, they've cut 5% over the last two years. They've also had a minus 2% on the IT staff. That didn't drop nearly as fast as the rest, but they probably got rid of some tenured professors and decided to hire in adjuncts instead. Um, I'd be interested to see you know, the same look on one of those other organizations we looked at, and I, and I bet you you're going to see a much smaller median tenure. Uh, and yeah. as I talk, I see I see uh, Kip's pulling up another one here. Um, this yeah. one actually this is a higher is median tenure. <laughs> right, because this is Littleton, Colorado. This is the this is the city, right? This okay. is a municipality, mm -hmm. and this is actually very consistent. Where seven point three years of a median tenure. Now, median here means average, right? It's just a, it's a form of an average calculation, but seven point three years. Um, and that makes sense because in my experience, people who join cities really do like stable jobs where there's not a lot of change, right? They like to stay in the same place a long, long time. Um, but there's 408 total employees, so it's a much smaller situation, 15% company-wide two-year growth overall, and 14% information technology growth over the last two years. So this is a place that's growing. Things are changing, but they have but they have people who work here for a long time. So my bet is, is that if you went to work here, you'd probably see people struggling with change. You'd probably see them go, well, that's not the way we used to do it. Or, you know, they, they, they're probably just struggling with the idea that things are changing. And so you might, you know, experience that in the context uh, of the work that you do, right? A lot of, a lot of people uh, feeling reluctant about the fact that, that there's growth. I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong, but that that's my experience. But what, what do you see, Jason? Yeah, I mean, uh, while I talk, can you pull up the one for Visa? I'm just curious from a, sure. a corporate perspective. But uh, I spent a lot of time working with the government. And I can tell you that when people work for the government, they're usually trading a lower salary for longevity because they know that job is stable. They know the money yep. comes in week after week. And so when you see things like colleges, universities, local city governments, national governments, like agencies like the FBI, CIA, NSA, you know, DOD, things like that, you're going to see people who have very long periods of time because they stay for that 20 to 30 to 40 years so they can get their pension. And so that starts dragging up your averages as well. Mm -hmm. um, when we go here to Visa now, this is 4.3 years. So this is much more uh, similar to the college we looked at than to the local government. Yep. When we look at this one, we see a 5% company-wide growth over two years and a 12% down inside of engineering and tech. So they are actually getting rid of some people. Now, why is that? probably because of the rise of automation, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. So if we can do more of that using those type of tools, and I can have five people do it instead of 10, I can get rid of those five people because 
I can tell you as a business owner, my number one cost is labor. And if I can reduce labor and still get the same mission done, I would want to do that, right? Because I can increase my profits, especially as a publicly traded company like Visa. Yeah. And now, now uh, what we can also see here is total employees, 20,000 employees. This is an, uh, this is an enormous uh, organization, very, very big. And, uh, and you can imagine it's going to be pr pretty bureaucratic. You know, it's part of the financial and financial services industry, highly, highly regulated. Um, things are probably not changing there very fast. They probably have a lot of, uh, of well-established processes that you're going to have to learn and follow. So it's going to feel very different from, from, you know, uh, from some of these other jobs. And so why am I showing you this? Well, I'm showing this because when we talk about how different the jobs are, it's not just that the job descriptions themselves are different, which we saw that they are, but also the, the bigger context of the organization you're working in is going to also drive a lot Lot of the differences. So even if you had two cybersecurity analyst jobs with the exact same duties and responsibilities, the fact that one is going to be at a company of 20,000 employees and the other one is going to be at, a, at an organization, a municipality with 400 employees, that's still going to result in some big differences in, in the experience that you have there.